Hello, my speaker friends. Uh, you probably ran into an issue that I ran into uh, recently, and that is that there is a mismatch between the sound and that you get out of the microphone and what you get out of OBS. So this is only if you're using OBS on top of Zoom, which is what I showed in previous videos. And the reason that this happens is if you if you look at the diagram over here, you will see that the there is no way to get OBS into Zoom as microphone. There, there is no output from OBS that gives audio. And so what happens is that OBS creates a delay in handling video. And the reason it creates a delay is because it does a lot of processing, like eliminating the green screen behind me and, and other things, all the parameters and all the filters that, that you're gonna apply, all the combinations, it creates a delay. So what happens is that your microphone goes into OBS, but it also goes straight into uh, Zoom. And uh, separately, OBS goes into Zoom. And there is a delay. And the delay, I think I measured it to be between two, 300 milliseconds, sometimes more. It probably also depends on your computer. So I, I tried to avoid that and, and without eliminating Zoom and uh, without eliminating OBS. And there is no way to add well, to, to have this function coming out of OBS until I found this. And so I did my research and I found that there is a piece of software that is called a uh, cable and uh, it's, it's really a virtual cable. And I'm going to give you all the details uh, on it, but uh, really where it fits in is like this. From this moment on, the microphone goes only into OBS. You do not put the microphone straight into uh, Zoom. The next thing that you do is you install this little piece of software very quickly and very free to install, although they would appreciate donations and uh, they even make recommendations, which is like a couple of dollars. And uh, what you do is out of OBS, you would get something that's called a monitor. And I'm going to show you all of this. And the monitor goes into this virtual cable, which is just a piece of software input, the output actually is something that Zoom can recognize. And from that moment on, what you will see is uh, that Zoom gets, as a microphone, it gets the cable output. And as a uh, video, as a camera, it gets OBS. So this is kind of the uh, what this looks like. Now I'm going to go into the software itself. So this is the software, VB Audio software. I'm going to give you the link in the last slide, as I promised. Just a piece of software. There is a version for Mac. There is a version for PC. Uh, depending on your computer, you use the right one. Now, here are several things you have to do. And I'm not going to go too deep into explaining why. Trust me you need to do those things, otherwise it's not gonna work or it's going to create e echo. So the first thing is, uh, and, and I'm gonna refer to Windows machines and not Mac, sorry, that, that's what I use here. So in the bottom right of your screen, you will see this little thing that is uh, that looks like a speaker. And if you right click on it, one of the options is going to be volume mixer. Open, now, this is after you already installed, okay? Open the volume mixer and just mute cable output. And the reason is because cable output, remember, is going to have your microphone, right? So microphone goes into OBS, OBS goes out into cable. Cable output, you don't want it to go into the mic, into the speaker, into your computer speaker, because then, or, or the mixer here, because then what will happen is you get echo. And, and I had that echo and I had to fight it until I found that this is what you need to do. The next part is in OBS itself, if you go to advanced, so if you go to settings uh, on the right side and when you click on settings, go to advanced, go to audio. And in audio, one of the options is an advanced monitoring device. So, you know, just like any mixer, any audio mixer, there is a way to monitor what's going through the, uh, or what's coming out of it. And so you use the, the monitor and your monitor is the cable input. So you cause OBS to put the audio out, but not only that it puts the audio out, you send it into cable input because still there is no way for Zoom to recognize that monitor coming out of OBS. So you have to go through the cable software. So make sure that you have cable 
input. Next part is still in OBS. If you click, right click on the, and I made the, the mixer here in OBS vertical, it's just something that you can choose. Uh, but there's a cogwheel and it actually doesn't matter which one, as long as you right click and you go to advanced audio properties. And when you do that, you will see that for every one of your inputs, so I have an input from my Blue Yeti uh, microphone, the desktop audio, definitely don't want to do that. Elgato, that's the converter from my uh, camera, DSLR camera, and that's just the microphone or aux uh, part of the laptop, the in integrated one in the laptop. Take the Blue Yeti or the microphone that you're going to be using and turn it into mo monitor and output monitor and output so now you get audio output so you can record and you also have monitor and monitor remember is going to go into that cable software now you can play with sync offset but what i found was once you get both audio and video into obs and then on the other side you get them uh, through cable the audio into zoom and OBS output directly into Zoom, uh, the virtual camera directly into Zoom, then there is no mismatch. And uh, you'll see that I, I shot a little video yesterday uh, just to show you the difference. Finally, in Zoom itself, as I said, select the microphone. You're going to select cable output. Okay. So again, it does recognize cable, does not recognize OBS. That's not one of the options, even though I have it active here. And speaker, well, whatever speaker you're going to be using, and you know that I like to use an IFB uh, uh, microphone or headset, but uh, headset, not microphone, but you can use whichever, even right now I'm using the, the regular speakers. And uh, your camera is obviously going to be OBS virtual camera. That's just about it. And these are the... Uh, uh, th this is kind of everything in just one page. There's the link to how to download the cable version. I installed the 64-bit version of it, but they have a 32-bit version. I think it came out in 2015. Uh, run as administrator. That's important. You miss that, it's not going to run. You're not going to be able to execute it. Just follow the instructions in that website, but just to keep in mind that it's not just to run the executable, executable file. You actually have to run it as administrator, which when you right click on, on any file that you want to run, one of the top right options is going to be run as administrator. And finally, you're going to have to restart the computer for those changes to take place. Really took only a few minutes. And what I'm going to show you is now the video that I showed that I recorded yesterday, and you will see how this works without the the uh, output, the uh, using cable as an output first, and then you're going to see how it is with it, and you're going to see the lip sync uh, between those two. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it uh, it helps you. And uh, if there's anything else that comes up, I'll shoot another video. Take care. Be good, be trusted. This is the quality of the recording and the lip sync between when I'm not using cable. So you can see I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to switch to the input of cable and I'm going to count again one, two, three, four, five.